Hi there, I'm Jen Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio, and today I got a fun project. We're doing another pair of cleats, yes. Tyler's gonna be heading to spring training, Oakland A's, so we got a great project for you. So we're back for another pair of cleats, guys. Okay, I guess I didn't realize how many pairs of cleats these pictures actually go through because I don't have to buy Tyler's cleats anymore. Huh. But he is going to be heading to spring training very soon. And um, he is going to be playing for the um, Oakland A's. So we're gonna do another pair of cleats for him that are gonna represent the green color from the Oakland A's. And all we're gonna do on this pair is the um, Nike swoosh, I guess it's called. Uh, hopefully I said that correctly. <laughs> Probably does not have to be so dramatic about the swoosh, but I thought it was kind of fun. Um, so I'm gonna isolate their logo here and again i'm using um is it the 3m oh this is actually scotch brand i don't know if this is a 3m i think scotch and 3m are two different things i do have both here okay so this is the exact same scotch brand that i used last time because i found it in the narrower but i also found wider okay a lot wider and 3m so i figured when it was getting to the point where i needed to cover more of the shoe so that um, all the techniques and spraying that i'm doing aren't going to get all over the place i could go for that wider, wider vinyl tape because i definitely found that regular blue tape just doesn't hold super well on this okay so you're better off using all vinyl tape, or at least I'm gonna try. I find it stretches, but if you try to bend it too much on a curve, it just will pull. So I'm trying not to over um, bend, but use smaller pieces as I go around the corner here and try to get this uh, design taped off. So we're gonna isolate uh, all four of these. Okay, there's two of these on each shoe. And not only that, because Tyler's a pitcher, he does, um, I don't know if I can remember what this is called, but it's a special coating that they put on the pitcher's toe. And as you can see, it turns yellow. So um, he was wanting to see if I could actually foil that and turn it white, which I'm sure will work for a little bit, but I got a feeling that's not gonna last long. So totally tedious project at this point uh, for the taping. So be prepared uh, that this is going to take you some time and um, I'm just gonna get to taping guys and we're probably gonna speed through this part of the uh, video or not even show the whole thing so I don't bore you guys to death with uh, these little details, okay? But I'm gonna keep the video going for a little bit here So you do wanna be patient and make sure that you are taping off well because um, with the spraying that we're going to be doing, your tape is all the only thing that's gonna prevent any of those layers that I spray from going anywhere else on the shoe. So uh, be careful with that. I think I'm actually gonna try and trim this a little bit. Ooh, that was not bad, okay. So I'm not sure how long these will take to tape off, but I know on the other shoe where I was isolating where the laces go and here and around the whole toe, that took about an hour per shoe. Now then that's just because I'm doing just the logo on these, I got a feeling this is gonna go much, much faster. We got one Nike swoosh down, okay. 
I'm going to finish up all the other three and I'll be back for that next step. Okay, so I am to the last shoe and the last covering here. And I thought I'd just go live on the video and let you guys see me struggle through um, getting the last part of the shoe taped off. Um, again, I'm still working with uh, this vinyl tape because I know it's gonna stick to the shoe much better than any kind of blue tape, painter's tape. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cover everything that I can. This stuff sticks pretty good that you can pull it off, but we're just about ready to start the process of getting these ready for some uh, beautiful foil on this, okay? So I'm gonna do one more, cause I'm gonna be doing, that's called tough toe is what they put on the front. I finally did remember, I knew I would. Um, <laughs> so on this shoe here, I'm gonna try to go ahead and do a little foiling. This is a real slick material, which I think uh, is probably not going to work really well, but we're gonna do our best to try to get that wider for Tyler, make him feel more comfortable about that. But you know, they do the tough toe because these boys just wreck these shoes, okay? Uh, being a pitcher, whatever foot they uh, throw off of or push off of, that is the toe that just gets destroyed. Okay, so all I basically have is the two Nike swoosh, the front of this toe, and we're gonna start with a 100 grit sandpaper. And the first thing we're gonna do is sand the area that we are going to be foiling. And I'm really trying to get aggressive and sand as much as I can in there. That's why I did also grab, this is like what's called a flex. I think it's called, uh, I don't know, it might be called flex, but it's a 3M product and it is so flexible. I felt that I could really get this wrapped around my finger well and get down into these areas and try to make sure that I'm getting a good sand on these areas, okay? So take your time. We're also gonna give this tough toe, which <laughs> the more I play in touch with that, I think that's gonna be what exactly it's meant to be is a tough toe and I'm not sure how well anything is gonna stick to that, but we're gonna give it a good scuff. And you guys having fun watching me struggle with this. It's hard to sand a shoe, you guys. <laughs> um, okay, let's work on this other one. Once we get the sanding done, then we're gonna use um, a little acetone and a little scrubber. Uh, and again, we're just trying to get this leather so that our products are going to adhere well to it and that it won't uh, rub off, lift off, or anything like that. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is I've got this little burnishing pad. It's abrasive enough that it can scrub and I'm using some acetone, you guys. This can be just your nail polish acetone um, me, of course, you know, I've got a gallon of this stuff over here because we use it in painting for other projects. And I'm just going to, again, scrub over the area that we're going to be foiling, making sure it's cleaned up well. I'm going to do the other side. I just picked up more acetone. You will want to let this stuff evaporate, but you can see how it's going from looking wet to completely cleared off. So it evaporates really, really quickly. It also has cut the sheen down a little bit. I don't know if you can tell too much, but I feel like it's really uh, cut the sheen down. I'm going to clean both of the shoes up, scrub it with this pad. Okay. I want to grab some more acetone. Mine ran out and then from here, okay, after I rub both of the shoes with the acetone, the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to grab, okay, uh, this is called Bulldog, it's by Clean Strip. 
and it's an adhesion promoter. This is in the automotive industry, okay? And it's meant to make paint stick, um, designed basically for spot repair, and it's ready to paint in five minutes. Stuff was pretty pricey, but so far it's been worth it. The other paracletes held up well. So we're going to again try this. There's a lot of dangers and ventilation stuff and skin irritant on here. So there's a whole bunch of warning stuff, you guys. Go spray this outdoors, spray it in a well-ventilated area. Make sure you're wearing appropriate mask or whatever you need. Protect yourself, okay? Um, but we're gonna spray this and then we'll be back. I sprayed on one good coat and we have waited hours, okay, to get to our next step. So I have my emblem area isolated. The next thing we're going to do is grab our foil adhesive. This is our brand under Artsyville Embellishments. And I've already taken it out of the container and it looks milky white, okay. This is what I call a, um, a sticky plate because you can just keep putting your adhesive on here. It can dry down, it just stays sticky. Um, but if you needed to add water or anything else to it, it's a great place to just have your adhesive on a foam plate. So all I'm going to do is go ahead and brush this on. And I'm gonna be generous, okay? Because I want to make sure that I have really good coverage over this area. Uh, the product goes on looking milky white where you can see it's turning everything white but will dry completely clear it takes about somewhere between probably 15 to 30 minutes to completely clear out but you want to do yourself a big favor and just let it dry longer than that okay i try to let the adhesive dry for normally no less than about an hour, especially working on a project like this where we're trying to do a pair of cleats, give everything longer dry time so you're not pushing through the steps and the layers. So I will put these aside, we'll let them dry uh, at least an hour or better. The one thing about the foil adhesive is it never will dry beyond a firm tack. So if you can't get back to your project for a while, don't have to worry about it. You could leave it overnight. You could leave it for a week or two. It wouldn't matter. So I'm also gonna try to do the tough toe here and make this look more white for Tyler. So we're gonna go ahead and put the adhesive on this section as well. This one I'm not too sure about, okay? I just know whatever I do on this toe area, Tyler is going to um, abuse it, okay? That's just how it is. So we're gonna do our best and see what happens. Okay, one shoe down. Let's get the other one. Okay, brush strokes can matter. So I am trying to straighten up my brush strokes and get them on there as neat as possible so that if we can see any brush stroke in the end, at least they will be going in the right direction. Okay, let's give these at least an hour or better to dry. And then we're gonna come back and transfer our gorgeous green foil. Okay guys, we got some sticky shoes. Okay, so anywhere that foil adhesive is, even if it got onto the red uh, vinyl tape here, um, it's sticky. So what we're gonna do now is transfer our foil. And a little trick that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover up one side, okay? I'm just rubbing it over, just kind of covering that up. And that way I can lay the shoe down because I don't wanna lay this on a sticky or on this paper because it's sticky and it might get stuck to the paper, okay? So we don't want that to happen. So make sure that if you're doing a pair of shoes, you've got something to lay it over. Um, you could even put down like press and seal or something that your um, adhesive will not stick to. And then we're just gonna give it a really, really good scrub. I'm using a toothbrush. It's a firm toothbrush that I even cut the bristles down shorter because I feel it works better. And we're just gonna scrub. We're gonna rub, 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 okay? <laughs> and then we're gonna peek. 
see how it's transferring. Now, it's gonna be a little bit trickier to get into that stitching, so I'm gonna lay that right back down. We're gonna scrub again, because the foils are always gonna grab the high point first, and once you release the foil and lay it back down, you can then scrub it into those lower areas. And stitches, the stitching is always a little tricky. I've done this a few times, even like on, uh, denim and wherever you have stitching on denim it's always tricky as well so i'm just going to keep working into those areas and try to get them in there we might end up with a little bit of black showing but we're going to try not okay doing pretty good here Go. So I've actually even moved the foil over to a new section, just trying to scrub again and see if I can get into those lower areas. And it just might be that they're so tight that we might not get all the way down in there, okay? But we're just gonna keep working it a little bit. Sometimes even changing the angle can help. That did help a little bit there. Okay, just got the back section here. Woohoo! That is looking so awesome. Okay, one of the things about doing things for um, baseball is they can't be shiny. So there are some rules and regulations about what they can have on their shoes or not have on their shoes. So I am gonna be using a matte spray, okay? Now I grabbed some of my white foil because again, I wanna cover up that sticky area on that tough toe, okay, that we're gonna to try to make white for Tyler. And I didn't again want that sticking to the table. So let's get over to the other side and get this one released. Again, I'm gonna shift the foil, try a new piece in any area that didn't transfer at first. So some of these tight areas, you guys, I'm just getting in there with my fingernail as well. That helped a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna work on this tough toe. And this is just our white foil. We'll see if we can make this a little bit whiter so it doesn't look so off-white for him. Uh, it's helped a little bit, but I think we're going to end up having to layer this. So we might have to do a few layers on here to get it back to a, a pure, pure white, okay? So I think what we're going to do is Put another layer of foil adhesive and we'll foil the toe again. You can see it did pull off, but it's not so opaque that it's um, still, still looking a little too yellow for him, I'm sure. Okay, let's finish off the other shoe. Again, position one side. That way you can lay it down. Grab your second piece of foil and transfer.
Okay, guys, I'm using my finger now. It's getting into that ribbed, uh, stitched area, okay? So just a little trick. Might have to get a little aggressive with your finger now on the stitching. Okay, that looks absolutely fabulous. Okay, Woo, last one. Okay guys, I think we are done with transferring our foils. So once you have transferred your foil and everything is done on that part of the project, the next thing we're gonna do is grab our final coat, okay? This is a low gloss water-based product. I know it's safe over the foils. I don't have to worry about anything. So I'll put a couple of coats on this first, okay? So I'll put two coats of the final coat down and once that's dry and ready, then we're gonna grab a Rust-Oleum uh, Matte Clear Enamel. This is a more heavy duty top coat that we'll be spraying on and because these are cleats are going to be worn um, for baseball we're trying to protect them as much as we can tyler's a little rough on his shoes okay so i'll be spraying this outdoors uh, check this out it has a five in one custom spray nozzle so um, you read about this and it has different directions and different ways that it sprays a, a finer mist or a heavier spray so really cool product you guys okay i'm going to get all this sprayed and coat it and we'll be back for the final reveal. Thank you so much for joining me for this fun project. For a complete list of all the materials and supplies will be in the description below and make sure to always hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our upcoming tutorials.